Hey fam, I got something to tell y'all today. Ooh, ooh. I'm looking kind of crazy. I got all these different colors on. I don't even care. I'm just running to the store right quick. I was in my kitchen cooking for my man. And um, put my seatbelt on. Y'all gonna have to excuse my baby. I know she making noise. She a little shaky these days, but she getting me from point A to Z. So A to B, A to C, whatever. Let me tell y'all something. There is a what do you call these people? I don't know. A lot of people call themselves gurus of relationships, right? And her name is Sansa Ray. And she has her opinions about everything. Like everybody who has a page. Everybody got an opinion. So she came on and she discussed how most men, those are the words she yo, used. And I'm like, you don't know most men. So that's a lie. <laughs> when we say most people, I think... We're lying because we don't know most people. So I think I too am going to choose my words better because we don't know most people. It might be most people that you know, but it cannot be most people in relation to the entire world. This world is huge. None of us could ever know most of the people in the world. So she said, most men do not marry for love. And I'm like, so it's, first of all, she said most men, and now she's speaking for men. <laughs> I thought that was crazy. She said, most men marry because they want basically a servant. They want somebody to cook, clean, wash their clothes, etc. But she left it at that, as if there is nothing else to marriage besides a woman be a, being a slave to a man. And I'm like, that's some false mess people are putting out there because I'm in a marriage and I cook, clean, and wash for my man. But guess what? The shelter I got over my head, he provides that. This car I'm driving, he provided that and we have good times together laughter fun he got my back i got his we learn from one another we build each other up we kiss we hug we're lovers we are fighting this world's battles together we are one another's company and we are another one is another one another's confidants so there's so much more to marriage and you cannot compare no two couples to one another because guess what Every last one of us is different. So the dynamic in each couple is going to be different. The chick ain't married. That's what blows my mind. You're not married, nor have you ever been married. You want to be married because in another video, you said you wanted to marry your child's father, but he left. So you crit criticizing him and getting mad at him, but you open your legs to him and made a baby with him without that commitment. And so now you're mad. And now you seem to be a bit bitter because you're saying things that doesn't make sense and you can't speak on because you have no experience in. So y'all check this out. <laughs> I commented and I wasn't nasty to her. I said under her remarks that you're right. Each person in the couple have duties to fulfill. Guess what? If I was single, I'm still going to cook, clean and wash clothes. And if my man was single, he's still going to work and provide a roof over his head, right? So these are things that we do anyway. So what's wrong with doing it with someone, for someone? It makes your life even sweeter when you got the right one. So I put, <laughs> you know, everything I basically said to y'all. I put, I asked, let me make sure I'm doing the right thing first. Y'all be bugging out, talking to y'all, I'm not concentrating. Huh? <laughs> like she waved her hand at me. But anyway, I said to her, you're right. There are duties that both parties need to fulfill in a relationship, but also there's the perks. And then I that I mentioned to y'all, I mentioned to her. Like most people are, well, the people who decided to comment, I'm going to stop saying most people. The people who decided to give me a like was plenty. The few who said to me, I'm living in a Disney. One man said to me, yo, bro. You living in a Disneyland fairy tale. And I said, first of all, I'm not your bro. And this is my reality. So I'm not living in anybody's fairy tale. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't comment back, at least at the time I, I looked. The next lady, she decides to tell me, and then they want you to suck their blank, blank, blank. And I'm like, huh? So I sent a face that was like, huh? So she comes back. She decides she thought she was going to insult me. She said, 
when you marry, you're basically a prostitute, so you're just a hoe. I'm like, poor, sad, sorry, lonely, misguided, bitter Betty. Because that's what she is. And I told her, I said, so you thought you were going to insult me by calling me a hoe? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm telling you, people's minds are so warped. The devil got people's minds jacked up, and it's him. Because marriage is beautiful. It is God ordained. This whole world is full of superficial people that want superficial things out of relationships. And when they can't get that, they want to criticize it. And they want to say things about the people who are in it and actually are enjoying it. Everybody's not a miserable sack of crap like y'all. <laughs> y'all are miserable because y'all made poor choices. You cannot compare what you got going on to what somebody else got going on. It ain't the same. Every relationship is different. The dynamics in every relationship are different. My mom went to work and my dad was in the house cooking and cleaning. I mean, everybody have a different dynamic in their, wet, in their marriage. So whatever they agree upon and is working for them, who um, am I and anybody else to say what they should and should not be doing? If it works for them, that's their business. Because I wouldn't do it don't mean somebody else wouldn't do something. And what I do doesn't mean somebody else is going to do it. I couldn't care less what people are doing in their marriages as long as they're happy and have respect for one another. That's the bottom line. How y'all set up y'all doings in your home and what, who does what and who don't do what. And you do too much and he don't do enough and vice versa. Who gives a damn? It ain't none of my business. I would never get on here and tell somebody how their marriage should be ran people are weird they are extremely weird so she called me a hoe because i have a husband i said girl you are messed up i said i feel sorry for you you are sad and lonely and that's why you're saying that i said you thought you were insulting me by calling me a hoe she don't know me at all because i ain't never been that <laughs> never have i been a hoe but you know maybe she is she called a wife a whore. But let me tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says a man who finds a wife finds a good thing, honey. So that's not a whore. That is not a good thing. A virtuous woman does not equate to a hoe or a prostitute. <laughs> but because men take care of us financially and we on the other end have sex with them, she's comparing that to prostitution. When prostitution is a woman who has a low self-esteem and no other ends of making money, she could be a drug addict and she could just be in a desperate position. She could be a runaway. So she is put on the street by a pimp who makes her sell her body to complete strangers that she's laying up with and then give her money to him. He owns her. If she tries to escape, he's going to beat the crap out of her and possibly kill her as an example to the other prostitutes. A wife, on the other hand, <laughs> is selected by a man and she is in an agreement with him permanently for the rest of her life for him to care for her and for her to care for him how does that equate to being a hoe a hoe is something somebody that no man cares for he's using her for his benefit now when you go into a contract with somebody which she was mentioning that too i meant to tell you the girl sansa ray mentioned that marriage is a contract because through the government basically it's a license to be together I, on the other hand, me and my husband are married under the Most High God. It's a covenant with God. The government don't rule me. They can't give me permission to do anything, right? But this is how the world is ran. They make it so if you don't do that, when the, one of the spouses die, you're not now able to get what they leave behind because everything is legalism, right? So she's saying marriage is just that. Honey, you have never had a marriage. You never had a husband. You don't know what this thing is like. You talking about riding a ride that you never rode before. So how can you talk about the experience of it if you've never experienced it? Yet you're longing for it, but now you're criticizing it because you don't have it. Make it make sense. People are weird. People are angry in the comments, talking badly about marriage. Now, those are people who are married too. That late one lady said, "Yeah, you're right. Twenty seven years of marriage, a miserable marriage for her. That's your business, Mama. The things that we tolerate is a whole nother thing. It's a whole nother thing. Marriage itself 
can be beautiful if the two parties involved know how to work it. I told y'all it's a dance. And these people ain't in sync. <laughs> They're stepping on each other's toes. But that's their business. You ain't going to push that on me, honey, because you're miserable. My marriage is not wonderful all the time. We get on each other's nerves and all that good stuff. But overall, what you look at is the wonderful times. They certainly surpass whatever arguments and petty disputes that we have because every human being has faults. So when you're in a marriage, you're going to argue about those things sometimes. You're going to disagree about those things sometimes. Y'all going to get on each other's nerves too. But guess what? Overall, that stuff is like this. And the good stuff is like, phew, you can't even measure <laughs> the blessings that come with it. But honey, people are mad because you're happy. That's crazy. Don't let nobody do that to you. They sitting there talking, on, oh, you ain't nothing but a glorified hoe. Wow, miss. You don't even know me. You don't know me. I share with you a little bit of myself that marriage is more than just two people fulfilling duties. It's a wonderful experience of friendship. And you got mad and you called me a prostitute and a hoe. Wow. And this is a woman. And this is why a lot of times men say the things they do about us because we are nasty to each other for no reason. And let me say, I got to add this before I go because I got to go. There were men in the comments who said, I would never marry a woman if I didn't love her. Then there was another gentleman who said him and his wife been together since they were teenagers, which I thought was a beautiful love story. They are now in their 30s with two kids. And he said he still love her today like he did when he first met her. So... A woman coming on there talking about what most men want in a marriage is foolish. You are not a man, number one. You're not married. <laughs> you do not know most men. And she put up a clip of some guy also who said, I wouldn't marry for love. I would marry for what the woman could do for me. And of course, I would provide for her. You cold-hearted creep. That's your business. You go ahead and marry like that. And I hope it works out for you to each his own. Again, there's no one size fits all to this marriage thing, to this love thing. Two couples, no two couples are the same. Each couple have their own thing going on. Don't listen to these people. They are so unwise, foolish, and lonely, and mad. Don't listen to them, family. Peace, love, and blessings. I got to go. <laughs>